what's up guys tip and tara here and welcome to another episode of us just sitting and chatting with you guys um, this episode today follows in our fiji series and we're going to be talking about snorkeling and diving in the rainbow reef today yes so the rainbow reef is one of the top five reefs in the world currently um, it's located right off the coast of Tavayune in the Somo Somo Strait. Um, so the Rainbow Reef is known as the soft coral capital of the world. So there's tons of corals, tons of re- uh, fish. It's one of the most extensive coral reef systems in the world with over 1,400 species, species of fish and coral. Um, so it's pretty amazing to see. We had heard that it was going to be awesome when we were going to Tavune, but we weren't quite sure of what extent. Um, so we're going to tell you about the tour that we took. We snorkeled. Um, we we do not dive, but there was a mixture on this tour. So um, that's what this is about. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a brief overview of the tour. We did the tour with Tavayuni ocean sports um and they were awesome just to right off the bat and this uh isn't sponsored or anything we did actually pay for this and it actually was only 60 dollars us so i thought that was a really really good price um you know when tara told me what the price was because i generally don't know what anything is when we're going into it i was very shocked that it was just 60 bucks for it it was Uh, actually 57.50 okay but we didn't have any change yeah so So, um all right things that are included in the tour um they'll give you towels they have snorkels they have fins and they will provide you with a wetsuit too if you want um you know they kept asking us if we wanted wetsuits but um it was totally fine for us because we're not cold um that was warm water for us we're used to the pacific ocean so it's freezing in the pacific yeah and then they do provide uh some light snacks for you some hot uh some juice some hot chai tea, and then there's water included too. So, um, yeah, so that's basically what the you will get on the tour. So we got picked up. So the tour includes a, um, t- uh, a pickup. Um, it was around 7.30 when we got picked up at our resort, but we were probably only like a 20-minute drive um, from the dive um, spot or dive shop. shop. Um and once we got there, we met all of the guides and Julie, who's the owner. And then Julie went through a very thorough overview of like what to expect, how it's going to happen. Um, like I've said, there was a mixture of divers and snorkelers. There was four of us snorkeling and there was probably like eight divers, probably. Um, and so they do a really good job of like, telling you what's going to happen, what the day is going to look like, where they're going to drop you off, um, who your guide is going to be. So the divers each had one guide and then the snorkelers, us four, we had one guide as our snorkel guide. Um, so it was really great. It was really, um, small and intimate. And I think it made that, it made it that much better. Um, so there was, Going out into the dive spots, there were, you know, probably six guides plus the the driver um, on the boat. And so there's plenty of people there to kind of like ease your your nerves if you're diving for the first time, which I know some, some of the divers on our boat were diving for the first time. Um, they can like go over what to expect and that kind of stuff. Um, for the snorkelers, it's obviously a little bit easier. Um, Although going in the Rainbow Reef is interesting because you're kind of just going, you're following like the current. Um, The current is what makes the Rainbow Reef so um, pretty and like lively. Um, But it's different than regular snorkeling where you have to like actually swim to get to the next spot. You're just kind of like they told us just not, (laughs) not swim at all and just kind of float, which is really interesting. You're just kind of like floating along. Um, along with the current and then you can kind of like dive down a little bit if you want to see things a little bit closer so all right so they take you to two different spots to uh to snorkel and dive so the first spot um i got in at um i'm not the strongest swimmer so if you follow us um i've learned how to swim recently in the last 
five or six years in the open ocean is still a tough thing, but I got in there. Um, I didn't use a life vest. I used this little buoy thing that they had. Um, and you know, like it, it was pretty easy in general, but I did get tired, um, and not being a strong swimmer. Um, but yeah, like Tara was talking about earlier, they have, um, it's a lot different type of snorkeling than I've ever done before because they had such a strong current. Um, so you basically just sit, swim there and it'll just take you along and you're just floating down. And um, I personally actually got tired after about 10 to 15 minutes and then uh, my thing started to deflate a little bit. So I got out, but you know, it was amazing. Like I wish um, that, you know, I was able to stay a little bit longer in there. But um, it was really cool to see, and that that you know the Rainbow Reef it was 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 amazing. Like I've ne I'm glad I got into the water. It wasn't like um, Tahiti where I didn't get in the water with the with the whales, so I didn't regret that. Um, but yeah, so that's um, that's one thing that you're, and it, it's a good solid because on the second time I decided not to get in. I actually was kind of cramping, and I, I didn't want to really get back in, but. I was on the boat for a good 45 minutes to 60 minutes while the divers and the snorkelers were all going. So it's, I mean, you get, you get a good solid two to two and a half hours in the water if you want it. Yeah. I even got tired by the end. I was kind of, I mean, it was so, so pretty, but I was kind of like ready to go back and they don't, the boat isn't like there the whole time because it's obviously got the divers in one area and the snorkelers in the other and then the current. So the boat drops you each group off separately and then we'll come back around and pick you up where like you know their end point is so it's not like you can just I mean if you really want to go back they'll bring the boat back but you still have to wait a few minutes for the boat to get back to where you are so it's not like you can just you know you're right by the boat and you can just hop in and out um just because of how the current is flowing and where it's taking you um so um you know you you should know how to swim at least and like feel comfortable in the water, obviously. Um, but they have all of the, you know, buoys and life jackets and that kind of stuff. If, if you want to wear those also. Suggestion to, uh, if you're, you know, when you're flying in a Tabe Yune, if you have a, a clear, um, view, it is really cool to, you can actually see the rainbow reef from, from up top. And, you know, we actually saw it on the way back and realizing like kind of where we were on the on the island and you actually kind of understand where the rainbow reef is and um, you know we have video of it right now but it's it's really cool to actually see like oh that's where we were swimming and just seeing it like you know you're thousands of feet in the air and then looking down like oh that's that is the rainbow reef right there so i thought that was a really cool feature yeah. to try to look out for what if you're taking the plane yeah there. and understand like how the current works because i think we didn't really get it at first when we yeah. got in the first <laughs> The day we were doing the snorkeling, we just mm -hmm. didn't understand that that's how it was going to work. It was just different yeah. snorkeling that we've done. But seeing it up above, we could totally see like, oh, that's how it kind of, you know, it has its own little... Flows flow. through it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that's what kind of scared me a little bit too was like when we were snorkeling, um, you know, you look underwater and people look a little bit closer and then I'd look up and then people were kind of far away <laughs> and I was like kind of floating away and then... One of the instructors, uh, actually, Julie made a joke about, you know, if you watch out for the current, um, because you might be floating towards New Zealand. And then so that <laughs> that was kind of in my head of for the time I was snorkeling. But um, but seeing what it is, I was like, oh, OK, then you can't, you know, understanding like the walls and what the reef walls are and that type of stuff like that. It made a lot more sense once you actually saw it from the sky. But yeah, but um, they do an awesome job. Um, the tour overall was fantastic. They do a great job walking you through everything, making you feel comfortable. I know a couple of people on our boat were diving with them multiple days that they were there because it, you know, they really enjoyed the tour so much. Um, so we heard nothing but great things about, about the tour and we had a great time. Um, also, um, they, they take really good care of you and they have the, the pickup and the drop off. I think we got back to our hotel around like three-ish or so um so it's a pretty long it's a it's a full day um but you get to you get to do a lot of snorkeling or diving whatever whatever you want to do um so I would I would definitely recommend that tour if you're visiting Tabiune 
Um, the Rainbow Reef is is incredible. It's it's worth worth seeing in person. Um, but if you're planning to visit Tavayune, make sure to watch our Lavina Coastal Walk video. Um, and then also we're going to have a things to do in Tavayune coming soon. So make sure you're subscribed and watch the next one. All right. See you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>